Hey guys, we'll be back into this new video tutorial with OSP Pro. Now in this video today I'm going to be talking with you guys simply the complete introduction of something new called uh, website designing but using Python. Now this time around, I remember last time making for you guys website designing with Python using the Django. I went further and I showed the Django, uh, having the Django and uh, then embed it inside or adding something called MySQL or MySQL database. Now, in this video today, I'm going to look into something very simple. I'm going to look into you getting up, having an account installed in your PC. You know, I remember showing guys on how to come up on how to install an account onto your PC. Now, in this simple video, I may go and look onto something very simple. And that's actually how we have uh, an account and then we use Spider. Or you can actually use have Spider installed on your PC. If you don't want to use an account, still you can actually do that. Now I'm going to just use this video for you now for simple term. Now for you guys who are you know, who are using Flask, having Flask installed, you don't need actually to do what I'm doing. For you can you know you can actually use your net your Notepad plus plus Sublime Text Editor. You can use any editor to you know to make for you the stuff. And then you can compile your the stuff in two ways. One, you can actually use the IDE editor, like maybe the Python editor, like the uh, the one for ticking and the IDE for Python. This one here, you can use it to 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 run for you. Now, for my, I have got some challenge on my stuff whereby I have different versions of Python, so you cannot just say Python run this to get so to bring that. So for you guys, you can actually use this and run for you out. Now, for me in this video today, I'm just going to look onto something called. Uh, using up something called um, uh, spider. So I'm going to use the spider to, to come up with a, a website. So the version of spider I'm going to be using is spider 3 and the python I'm going to use in the, actually the version of python I'm using for this tutorial is python 3.6. So guys let's see ourselves how to get started. Now the first thing for you guys maybe you know this is going to be our first series of video. The first thing to do is to make sure you have an Anaconda Anaconda installed. So make sure you have Anaconda installed in your PC. You get so make sure you have Anaconda. Go on, man. Go on, guys. Install Anaconda on your PC. After an installing, and we can install Anaconda 3 or Anaconda 4. It's good, go. Just make sure you have Anaconda installed in your PC. Why do I need Anaconda? Is because when you have Anaconda, you don't need there is there's no big reason as to why you have to install Spider Man or you know, Spider sorry calling Spider-Man, but there's no reason as to why you have to install Spider if you already have an account installed in your PC. Now, I'm just taking straight forward, I don't have my account installed, but um, before installing or before having all those, after having the, an account installed or after having, if you don't have maybe, let's just show how to do that very fast. So the first thing is to go to your com command prompt or CMD. And then you type the following piece of code very fast so that you, you can actually be in a position to, to do what to, to run your Python script. Now, the first thing is that you need to install uh, uh, Flask. So it is just say pip install. To install for your Flask, just say pip install Flask. Just like that. Guys, when you hit enter, it should be in a position to, to have Flask installed in your PC. Now, the next thing is we can also say pip install for me spy. That one's just enough, it can also install free, but I don't recommend you to use Spider in this way. Why? Because as long as you have Flask installed, you're good to go. Okay? So as long as you have people installed for me, Flask, my friend, you're good to go, is enough. As long as you have to install, because you want to install, install for us something called Ginger 2 or Ginger, which we shall use it at the point T on how we can come up with the framework and the rest. And and that's it, that's it. Now, for now, let me just make life simple. I'm going to just check it straight on how to start up complying or applying Python. Now, let's see this. We already have Flask installed into our PC. So after having Flask installed in our PC, just make sure that when you happen to go, and maybe you say, uh, you guys are using the real version of Python. If you simply say, uh, from maybe from, if you happen to say from Flask, sorry, from Flask, import, import Flask, something like that. If you say from Flask, import Flask, if you don't get an error, if you have something like this to me, I believe you know that implies you have already actually happy to install, uh, you happen to install uh, Flask successfully into your PC. Now, now here some of you guys maybe have said, you know what, I've got some error onto my piece of code now. You might have got that error because your Python was not added to the command prompt. Now, that video already have it. That video is already there. Please just go on my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, look for that video on how to add Python to people. 
add, add pip to the environment variable or add python to command prompt. You get, but you guys are using python 3 and above, you are lucky because there's that additional word which says that add python to the add python to the path. So you have to be very careful by the time you install in python so that you can actually have that command in the whereby you can just say add python to environment and definitely add python to environment. Now, to make life simple, I rarely say that stuff to us. Now, let's just use me take this time and then we'll see how we can actually start up using Python with the Flask. Now, I'm just going to simply say to my side, uh, we can use an editor, if we can use an editor, but I'm going to use Spider for now. So, I'm just going to click on Spider so that you launch it up. Uh, I'm just going to create up an editor here by saying new file. This new file, I'm going to save it. I'm just going to save it as Facebook or YouTube, whatever. So I'm going to just save it as. So I'm going to just say Flask app. Inside the Flask app, I'm going to just come inside there and I save this. Sorry, this file of ours as example two. .py. Get. Python. Get. So here you can show the file type. So you can just look for Python file if you want. Then that's good to go. So I think you can see the example too. So you can always remove this author. You don't need them. So just make sure you really have remove that one off. It's okay when you, you remove it. Now uh, the first thing here, you can just test your stuff whether it's working. Say print. Uh, since I'm using Python 3, so I'll say print hello, hello world like that. So when I save that and I try to compile it here. Uh, So this one is running, that's why it is not giving what I need. So if I don't click here, it does not run. So what I have to do is to end this. So I'm going to just click here. Because now if you see, it does not want to run for me. So I'm going to come in here. And I say stop debugging, stop what, stop, stop, stop. Uh, where is it? You look for it. I say quit. Oh, uh, just a minute, just see how the thing moves out. Just look for spider again. I launched it, remember, it was not stopping because of the Python was already running. Oh, the option, sorry, the option I would have done, I would have right clicked and I go to, uh, to my toolbar or tax manager so that I happen to go on and I disable the Python which is running because there was already a server running. That's it. That's why if you run click here, those it is still even running up to now. That implies that option could not work. So I would like to look for Python around here in this server. Mm. Look for Python in this server so that yeah, Python, Python, Python performance. I think you have seen Python here running, so I just need to end them. Need to end them in task, in task, in tax. Because of that happened, do what I did. It could not stop Python from running because it was already running for us. So there was no way. The server was already running. Okay? So that was the option. That implies now if I right click here, it will tell me, I think you can see there's no connection now. So there's no connection. I think you can see. We don't have that connection. So what I'm going to do at the moment is to come back here and I close that now. And then I look for spider like that. Then I launch spider man. Or oh, launch spider, sorry. You know I'm calling it spider man. Okay. So it's going to launch out for us. So it's going to launch out for us so that we can be in the position to to use it. So we can just wait a little bit as we, we launch our spider into the environment and then we find ourselves good to go. So 
I think you can see now at the moment we already have a spider being popping up. <laughs> so uh, this is the file we just created now, right now here. I think you can see it's connecting to kernel. So it's connecting to kernel. So we can just wait a little bit as you know, it connects us to the kernel and we, we find ourselves good to go, good to go. So wait a bit as it connects us to the kernel. I'm sorry for the delay, guys. You know. Now when just come back here, I think you can see now it's working as expected. Saying what? Sorry, sorry, I did some mistake there. So print, sorry. Print hello world. Sort of like that. So that's it. So when I try to click there, I think you can see we should get something hello world. Now that's it, that's it, that's it. Now the first thing like I've said, we have to install something called Flask. We already have Flask, we have to import it. So you simply say from Flask. Import calculator flask like that. So you can even go further and say print flask version or whatever. Because if I have to have that, you should not get an error here, you should have something like that. Now from there, that's when I'm going to simply use some few commands which can enable us to do something called picking up the element. Get so if you check here now, we're going to just now try to set up equals to flask that you have ported flask into dash dash uh, this is going to be named like that you get so i already have this file with us here i already did it somewhere here so i'm just going to don't waste a lot of time I'm just going to say at app dot root now what's root in this row root 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 this is like a router which you are picking at the moment is pointing to now default. That implies it's pointing to this. Now, the good thing with Flask is that it's going to pick that thing, uh, indexing it. Get okay? indexing it means like if it's an HTML, it's going to be saying with HTML. Remember, all of us you know you guys have been programmed with HTML or been using HTML. Anything that index HTML does not take us no inside, just leave there. If the website is always pro.com, that implies in a simple term that for slash will they say index.html or index.php. It will not be pointing to anything, otherwise, it will just be stopping there. So that's indexing up the page. You get which indexing up the page I have that point down there. So the next thing to note now is define. So I'm going to define up something called the home. Whereby in this time around of ours, the home we are defining, what do we want the home to return? Remember home is that indexing, which I will simply say return for us maybe, uh, um, I love uh, Flask, I love maybe Python, maybe I say I love website, designing with Flask and Python, like that. Now, that's that. But now, uh, at the moment, I've already said return for me this. At the moment, if I try to run here, definitely to report for me why it looks kind of scroll at all this. I need to say, where is it going to be facing to? So I will simply say if uh, dash 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 uh, name dash dash uh, this is going to be main. Oh, so if I say maybe, uh, sorry, just forgot that. If name dash dash that uh, equals to uh, dash dash me like that. So that's what I may say for now. So that we have full column there. And then we say up to run. Yeah, we want this up to run for us. So what do you want the app to run for us at the moment? You just have this piece of code, which I'm going to say up to run for the debug uh, equals to true. Why am I making the debug true? Because I'm actually debugging or going to be debugging up the code at the same time when the application is running. So expect that to be doing it for us. So this is it. I've already said home, like I've said, as indexing. Return from this, I love that. Now what you're going to be producing here, this is just a simple text file. You get so when I try to run there while well, scanning the form, just try to move this off, move that off, and then come down here. More, but I've not done any error. At road, 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 road. Wow, more, but I've not done any error. I think that's it. 
that's it for now. So I click there. So exit file. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was not seeing here now. <laughs> sorry for that, but I've organized it now. So when you just click there, I think you should be saying something to turn a love website. Designing plus involved syntax. We look for that line six. We check that. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Line six. Return for me that. Return I love website designing with Flask. Let me shake that. I have this error here. I think I got some errors in this funny code. So I've organized that. So I think you can see now React is sorry, <laughs> calling it React because I've been React for some few days. Now this is just popping up now for simple type for simplicity. Uh, this is what I have to explain to you. This one features plus plus, which plus you can even import with the other name. You can simply say import from plus as f. That implies if you import plus as f, we don't need now this. So you just want to say f. So definitely that f will be running up because when you try to run here, it's pretty really picking up with that. Now to launch for this, we always pick up uh, uh, let me say in let me say in New flask okay we use uh, something called local host full column uh, 5000 so this is what we, this is the port we point to you get so if I have to have to come back in here down I'm just going to say that here and try to run and I think you can see it tells me that so you guys that's it for now so if I happen to come back down here and I just change this piece of code and I simply say maybe guys maybe please uh, please subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel, like that. I think you'll be seeing it starting up itself automatically. And when I refresh here, definitely the page will be picking up. I think you can see. So, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you all, guys. Sorry for that mistake, man, but you no. Know, good to go. But the way around is that um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned, and you can actually comment down below. So, this is a complete introduction to Flask. Thank you, guys.